Hello, my name is Stacy Brooke and I am the founder and chief advisor at College Essay Advisors. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Yale School Specific Supplement. After those two short essays, we have our short takes. And these all must be answered in 35 words or fewer. So a teeny tiny space. I happen to love these. I think of them more as kind of a brain teaser exercise than a writing exercise. Again, I can't use the word specific enough. You're going to want to be hyper specific in your answers here. You don't have time or space for vagaries. You don't want to waste this space by not communicating something that admissions can picture with something that gives them a super clear sensibility of who you are. The other thing you're going to want to consider with these short takes is you want a diversity of answers, a range of topics and responses that showcase the breadth of your experience and interests. So if you talk about the environment in one answer, you're probably not going to want to bring it up in another answer. You're going to want to talk, talk about some other aspect of your interests, your goals, where you've put your energy, etc. So the first of these prompts is this. Yale's residential colleges regularly host conversations with guests representing a wide range of experiences and accomplishments. What person, past or present, would you invite to speak? What would you ask them to discuss? This is, as so many of these questions are, um, a prompt to help you think about your curiosity and what interests and excites you. You also want to choose people that you think other people might not choose. I would love to hear a speech by Obama, um, especially one given at Yale, but I have a feeling that other people are likely to choose that answer or it's an answer that might apply to a wide range of people. And what you're really trying to do here is uh, show admissions who really excites you, um, who might align with your personalities, your interests specifically. So for example, maybe you want to invite Lily Tomlin to speak about what it was like to be a female trailblazer in the comedy world. Don't forget to address the part of this prompt where you need to come up with a question to ask your guest of choice, um, something that might reveal new information for the people that are in the audience, something that maybe you're particularly curious about. You are teaching a new Yale course. What is it called? So this kind of builds on the last prompts idea of what are you curious about or who are you curious about and asks, what are you curious about? And maybe what are you good at? What do you know a lot about? What might you be able to bring to the table if you were to create a course? This is also an opportunity for you to be creative and create some interesting mishmash of topics you're interested in um, that will help the attendees of the class see the world through a new lens. I'm sure most of you won't be surprised to uh, hear that Yale has many classes and so many of them are creative. So just make sure that before you propose a class that it doesn't exist already. So just a quick Google search or a little bit of a, a combing through the course catalog will just make sure that the idea that you're coming up with is different enough from um, the offerings of Yale already. Just do that homework. Next question. Yale students embrace the concept of and rather than or, pursuing arts and sciences, tradition and innovation, defying goals and surprising detours. What is an example of an and that you embrace? So here Yale wants to better understand how you can balance multiple things at the same time. How do you honor two different ideals, categories, feelings simultaneously? Maybe you embrace individuality and community. Judaism and Buddhism, sweet and salty. Get creative, there are no rules with these. In fact, I think the more creative these can be, the better. Again, you're just trying to give admissions a little bit of a, a taste, a new flavor um, of who you are. With this particular question, if you're feeling super stuck, maybe write down a list of things that are important to you, um, characteristics, items, um, ideas. See if any of them are at odds with each other or maybe play the opposites game. What is the opposite of these words that you've listed? And do you, maybe even surprisingly to yourself, embrace them both? 